how to use VLOOKUP in VBA Excel, how to use VLOOKUP in VBA Excel example, we will discuss two example here. In first example, you can see once we change the number, you can uh, click the button and it will be look up the value. It's a VBA, uh, it's uh, generated by VBA code. And uh, once you change the number, you get the uh, result, name and result as well. This is second example. Once you change the name, so you can get the date of joining, date of birth, salary, same as uh, the name of the person. Uh, you can see 19 January, June 14 January. So let's just start the video. Please like this uh, video and subscribe our channel. Free Excel online course, mjonlinehometrader.com. In your Excel, if you don't have the developer uh, tab, so you need to go to the file and uh, options then you will need to open custom IDB and you need to check mark on the developer so you will have the developer option you can use VBA once you open the VBA you need to add the, the VLOOKUP uh, VBA code here and uh, just update the sub uh, VLOOKUP in VBA Excel so we can start with dim RNG as range file result as variant Fine, sorry final result as variant so we are just uh, writing the code to get the value uh, via v lookup vba set rng is equal to set, uh, sheets and the file uh, sheet name sheet name we have v lookup formula here you can see so once uh, i can copy it and uh, close bracket then then dot range and we have a range here as uh, j and j6 so we will have uh, 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 inverted com uh, within commas and uh, j6 close bracket then final result is equal to final result is equal to application dot worksheet function so worksheet function dot vlookup uh, this is a, a simple vlookup vb code uh, just uh, watch it uh, then we will discuss another example uh, range then uh, uh, we will we have the range is i6 i6 where we get the value and then range then we need to select the range table array so this is uh, b2 b6 to d12 and then this is the column index number is 2 so name in will be in the column index number 2 and then fall then rng is equal to final result so here you can see we got the result uh, the, uh, the name of the uh, student then we can copy paste the code and uh, just need to change the value k6 is here and uh, that's it so it's ready but we need to change the column index number so once we change the column index number we will get the result not the name so the once we change the column index number and we just run it so you can see we got the uh, result of the mark zuberg and uh, whatever you select just now add, adding the key uh, to run the vba or from the excel so we look up once we change the value and click on the vba uh, uh, key so it will be give us the lookup value as you can see one triple zero six and other example as well so second example how to use vlookup in excel in vba excel uh, example uh, here we have the data uh, and we need to apply uh, we, we just need to create second module we just copy the same uh, code uh, as previous one we created and we just need to change the sheet name here sheet name is vlookup example and uh, we need to change addresses as well and range as well as per our requirement in second example so here we can see we have c6 d6 and e6 and uh, range is uh, table array is also different b9 to e19 and uh, b6 is the lookup value so b6 will be the lookup value and we need to change the c6 to get the first value for the second value we just need to copy paste and change the some uh, 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 addresses 
d6 and e6 so this is very simple uh, i will uh, give you a training about the we look up uh, uh, excel uh, with the help of formula sorry with, uh, with within the uh, user form so that's another example that's very useful uh, and very important to understand because this is very simple and th that will also simple but will that will be on user form now we are adding uh, the key of we look up here uh, the module 2 the module 2 uh, we look up once we click on it so it will be like this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel i really recommend you to watch how to use vlookup uh, in vba with the help of user form in that example we will discuss vlookup via vba for the user form that is very important watch this video right now